Hey everybody, I am Mr. Cognetti and welcome to first grade math. I'm going to be your math teacher when we're doing videos online. And we're going to start right off with a little bit of a warm up to get our brain going and our mind working in the math way so that we're warmed up and ready to go. And then we're going to start our first lesson introducing number bonds. So you guys are going to learn what number bonds are. You might have already heard of them. You might have done some work with them before. But we're going to go back and we're going to recap the different parts of a number bond, why we use a number bond, and what they help us with. Okay, so to start off, we're going to start with our warm up, and that's going to be um, a math finger flash. That's what we're going to call it. Okay, so I'm going to show you a number of fingers. I'm going to hold up a number of fingers, give you guys a couple seconds to look at them, and then I'm going to take the fingers down, and then I'm going to ask you to tell me how many fingers I had up. Okay. So the number can be anywhere from one all the way to 10, because we have 10 fingers, right? Okay, so for an example, let me show you one real quick. If I were to hold up this finger and then put it down, give you a couple seconds to think, then I'd say, how many fingers did I have up? And you would say, oh, I know, that's one. You have one finger up. And I would say, great job, you're correct. Okay, so it's gonna go just like that. So get ready, I'm gonna show you a couple fingers, ready? Think about it. How many fingers did I have up? I had one, two, three fingers. Okay, so if you said three, great job. If you didn't get that correct, that's okay. Just pay attention to this next one, you'll have another shot. Okay, ready? Here's our next one. Take it away, think about it. Okay, how many fingers did I have up? I hope you said two, one, two. All right, so there are two fingers. All right, here's our next one, ready? A couple more. How many fingers did I have up that time? Think about it, think about it. Okay, let me hear it, well, how many? Five, I had all the fingers up on this one hand, and we have five fingers on each hand, so I must have had five fingers up. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, ready? Here comes the next one. Think about it. All right, let me hear it. How many did we have? We had six fingers up, six. Because we know we had five, I had all the fingers up in this hand, so that's five. Then I had one more finger up. So if I count one more number past five, I'm gonna put five in my head, five, six. Six is the next number. We must have had six up. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right. That was our warm up. We started with a little bit of counting. We're in the math mode now. So let's start with number bonds. Oop, dropped my marker. Now, today I really, 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 really want to focus on the parts of a number bond, okay? Or the different sections and what they mean. This is what a number bond looks like. You should have one big circle on the top, two lines going down that go to two other circles, okay? So to make a number bond, you need three circles, one, two, three, and then two lines connecting the top circle to the bottom one. Now we might see this a different angle, but this is what it's gonna look like most of the time to start out, okay? Now this top part up here, this, is our whole. Say that word with me, ready? Whole. I'm gonna write that out. Now this is our big number. This is what uh, we have all together when we're looking at a math problem. Okay, so we have our whole here. If you have the whole amount of cookies, you have all the cookies, and I don't have any. Okay, so if you have the whole, if we know the whole, we know all the numbers, that are in this math problem. Then we have two parts down here. Now, it's funny that I just said it that way because they are called parts. Say that with me, parts. We have two of them. So you only have to remember two different words. One is whole, and then we have part and part, okay? And that's spelled like this. So we have our whole, and our part, and our part. Okay, ready? What's this top part here? 
or what's the top section? Say it with me. Whole. And then down here we have a part. And over here, another part. Okay, so we have a whole, a part, and a part. There's three different sections to a number bond. Now, when we have numbers in here, part plus part is going to equal whole. So that's why I put this little plus sign in here, because we're working with addition, which is adding or plusing. Okay? The mathematical term is addition. So we have part plus part equals whole. Say that with me. Part plus part equals whole. Say it again. Part plus part equals whole. Okay? Gotta, we got to remember that phrase because we're going to be saying that a lot all year. Part plus part equals whole. Okay? So, I'm going to walk through an example. So, you might be thinking, Mr. Cognetti, I'm a little confused right now. That's okay because we're learning. I'm going to walk us through a problem so it kind of makes a little bit more sense. So, if we have a whole of five. So, we have five cookies. All together, we have five. You and me, between the two of us, we have five cookies, okay? But now I want to take that group of five and break it up into two groups so that you get some cookies and so that I get some cookies because I love cookies, okay? So if we have five, now I'm going to draw a picture out right next to it, okay? And you don't have to do any of this. I want you to pay attention right now. We got one, two, three, four, and five. Those are all the cookies we have. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. We have five cookies. Now, like I said earlier, I want to split those into two groups so that you get some and so that I get some. All right? Now, can we split five up into a couple different ways or is there only one way to split it up? There's a couple different ways. There's more than just one way. Now, say I'm being super nice and I'm going to give you four cookies, okay? So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna circle, or I'm gonna put a box around them. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Those are the four cookies I'm gonna give you. Now that becomes one of our parts, okay? Because remember, part plus part equals whole. Part plus part equals whole, okay? So if four is one of our parts, I'm gonna come down here and write the number four in. That's easy, right? We circled four up here because that's what we chose to split up. We, took, we decided to take four away from those five. And we write that here, the number four. Now, what goes in here, the second part, is what we have left after we've taken some away from the five. So if all of this was my five cookies and I took four of them and moved them down here, I'll actually do that, ready? I'm going to erase them. I'm going to erase those four and move them down here. One, two, three, four. There's my four cookies down here. How many cookies do I have left? How many do I have left that I get? You get the four. How many do I get if you get four? I get one. We only have one left. So I write one in my number bond. Pretty simple, right? Now, remember, part plus part equals whole. If I were to do part plus part, and read it the way with the numbers that we have in the number bond, I'd read it four plus one. Four plus one equals five. Does four plus one equal five? That's what we have to check to make sure if we're right, okay? So everybody hold four fingers up on one hand. One, two, three, four. You should have almost all your fingers up. Now we need to add this one more to see if we get five. So everybody put your thumb up. That's one more cookie. So that's four plus one. Do we have five cookies or five fingers up? One, two, three, four, five. Look at that. We got five. So part plus part equals whole. To write that as a complete number sentence or a true number sentence, you'd write four plus one equals, that's an equal sign, five. 4 plus 1 equals 5. We just tested that with our fingers. We know we're correct. Part plus part equals whole. Part plus part equals whole. And that's our number bond. Okay? So that was our practice. That was our introduction to number bonds. We're going to be doing a lot more work with them. So if you don't have part plus part equals whole in your head yet, I promise you, you will. Do not worry. 
for your um, exit ticket, I'm going to ask you the different parts or the different sections of a number bond, okay? So I'm going to ask you to draw your own number bond, and then you're gonna write out what the sections mean. So I'm gonna do exactly what I want you to do right now, and then you're gonna do it your own, or do it on your own, and then you're gonna show me, okay? So give me a second, let me erase my board. All right, so this is what your page is going to look like when you're starting. It's going to be blank, okay? And I'm going to say, in my directions, I'm going to say something like, please draw your own number bond and label the sections of it, okay? So to draw our own number bond, you're going to start with a circle at the top, a circle on the bottom left, and a circle on the bottom right. Now, you got to make sure that when we're drawing these, we're drawing the circles a pretty good size because we gotta write numbers inside of the circle. Now I'm not done yet. I need to connect the top to the bottom left and I need to connect the top circle to the bottom right. Okay, so it kinda looks like a triangle. All right, now that's the first step. So I'm gonna say I want you to draw me a number bond and then label the parts, okay? The top part I know is what we have, that's the big number, that's what we have all together, it's called the whole, okay? So that is spelled W-H-O-L-E. That is our whole. Okay, so when we have our whole, it goes at the top, that is the biggest number. And when we split our part up, or split our whole up, I'm sorry, I said the wrong word. When we split our whole up, we split it into our two parts. So we have part one, P-A-R-T, one. And then we have part two. Okay, and I will supply you guys a word bank so that you know how to spell part and whole. Those are the only two words you'll need to know because there are two parts and one whole, okay? So on top, we have our whole, and our bottom, we have part one and part two. And part plus part equals whole. Say that with me one more time. Part plus part equals whole. Good job, okay? So that's what will be on your exit ticket. Your page will look very